Child Evangelism Fellowship of Uganda is an evangelical fellowship whose purpose is to evangelize millions of Ugandan children and to establish them in the Word of God in a local church. It is composed of individual Christians who have a vision of evangelizing children. The fellowship is not a church, but it equips churches through its education and training programs for children, Sunday school teachers, and good news clubs. Child Evangelism Fellowship of Uganda is part of the International Fellowship, which was started by Reverend Ivan Jesse of Ahosa in California, USA in 1937. His vision was based on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 14, which reads, In the same way, your Father in heaven does not want any of these little ones to be lost. The Uganda ministry was started by missionaries from Burundi, Reverend Stephen Rutuna and his wife in 1968. The children ministry was, however, short-lived as in 1971, President Idi Amin banned parachurch organizations and churches except the Catholic Church, the Anglican Church of Uganda and the Muslim faith. In 1981, after the fall of Idi Amin, Child Evangelism Fellowship Uganda was revived by the late Reverend Robinson Luizi and the late Henry Cheyune, who became the National Director and Chairman of the National Committee, respectively. The young organization lacked its own premises and had to move its offices from place to place in homes and churches. Mr. Stephen Musisi, the current national director, and his wife Marjorie were among the Good Samaritans who hosted the roving ministry at their home in Kasangati, a Kampala city suburb. We started in Kisenyi. We started in Kisenyi, St. James. Then from St. James, we went to Chitamileke House, that is still Kisenyi. From there, we went to Mnaku. During that time, we had another uh, 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 a missionary that's called uh, Pat Mendoza. So we've been using uh, places where we've been being given to us. Then from there we went to Nakulabie. We are working with the, teaming up with the Religious Society of Uganda. We had an office there until we had to leave that place to Mr. Mrs. office uh, home. This is the new uh, the national director. So we ran the office there until God provided this plot. Praise God in the year 2004, with the grant from overseas friends and contributions from local brethren, the national board started building offices in Kasangati. On 18 September 2006, the national office moved from the national director's home to its new premises. I have seen CEF grow because I recall that way back in the 2000s when I undertook the training teaching children effectively levels one and two, we did it from Buganda Road Primary School. We used to hold our meetings there. Some of the meetings would hold them at Nakulabie. But I thank God for what God has taken CEF through. Right now we are sitting at CEF headquarters. I have been serving as a treasurer of CEF. It's a job that has been quite challenging, but as the motto of CEF goes, ask God and tell his people. The proposed five-storied structure, which is still on the ground floor, is now housing 
over 30 full-time employees and volunteers led by the national director. The national board gives direction and advice for the running of the fellowship. Child Evangelist Fellowship is mainly concerned with the reaching the children of the world between the ages of 5 to 18. And experience has shown that many children who come to the Lord when they are still young normally remain serving the Lord throughout their life. And we felt it was important to bring that into this country and spread it to different parts of Uganda. We started with one branch, Kampala branch, spread it to Mbale, spread to Mbalala, and most recently, we spread it to North Nikuru. But our vision is to ensure that within 10 years, probably, we have reached the various former regions of Uganda, the traditional regions of Uganda, so that we, we are everywhere. When Reverend Overhoza, the founder of CF, uh, got that vision, he, he wanted to see that every child in this world gets the gospel, because that's what the Bible says. Jesus said, let the children come to me, when you read at uh, Matthew chapter 18. And uh, again, it, chapter 18, verse 14 says, it is not the will of God that any of these little ones should perish. So with that in mind, he prayed and he, he was committed to, uh, to seeing that every country has CEF. I came to know about CEF in 2005. When they come to school, our children get the chance of knowing Jesus. And as I talk, 90% of our children have accepted the Lord. They know Jesus as their personal savior. We have trained many people, and actually many people, they have come, they just they came to know that really children are very important, and children, they need to hear the word of God. And again, we've been encouraging uh, parents how that they should also evangelize their children because there is no time to reach them. So as soon as they hear and they understand, they can also come to Christ. And children love colors, and as you can see, this gospel tool is full of colors, and so we train these teachers to use it. Uh, this one, this circle, we tell them that this circle reminds us about God. A circle has no beginning and has no end, and even God has no beginning and has no End. And wash away my sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white. We have had an interaction with the CEF. Now when they came to ask us, it was not very difficult because our mission statement is to provide quality education school, quality education based on Christian values. And since they are offering the Christian values, they came to supplement what we are giving the children and the children really love the stuff from there and they have learnt whatever she teaches them they have learnt it and I, I believe that we are they, she's sowing a seed of which the children will use in the future Child Evangelism Fellowship Uganda has not only grown in numbers and infrastructure but also in ministry to the children and the youth.
Currently, its main programs cover 10 activities including good news clubs, school outreaches, Bible-centered camps, rallies, youth in action workshops, literature, trainings, and films. So we've trained so many people to now who can reach boys and girls with the gospel. And uh, we take that as to be a very important ministry. And we have seen these people growing in the Lord. We are convinced that Uganda needs Christian leaders. And we think through this program of Christianity in Action, we can really uh, see or get people who will lead this country in many various ministries. Through these activities, many lives of young people have been transformed and enriched. They have acquired spiritual guidance and life skills from Child Evangelism Fellowship. From the leadership skill, I have learned that a leader listens because while as a leader at our church, I've been applying this skill of listening to my fellow youths and other children who, to whom I evangelize. For example, when they approach me telling me of maybe a problem or a question that they would like to know or help them in, I would, I would listen to them and then I help them on how to go about the problem. CF has done a lot to me. Uh, it raised my leadership skills, which I didn't know. Because it was since then that I began to see that I can be a good leader and that's how I began. I became a head girl at my school, I became the chairperson Anglicans and the Lord has really used me so good. I can now teach children, I've brought many lives to Christ. The pastor that day told us that when you believe in Jesus, he can do everything you want. You can be able to pass to other classes. Then, then, then that day, I believed that Jesus was the Lord and Savior. And since that day, I stopped. I was a, I was a thief. I used to steal mommy's, mommy's, mommy's coins. But since that day, I stopped. I'm a volunteer in Child Evangelism Fellowship. I came to know Child Evangelism Fellowship in 1994 when I, when I came to train in teaching children effectively level one. Before that, I, was, I yearned to teach children when I was in primary six, though I didn't know the skills I could just go, sing a song, we say the Lord is a prayer, and then I sent off the children. Or tell any story from the Bible as I grew up. But when I came to CEF, I found that there were some skills which were being taught to me, like I learned how to go deeper in a Bible portion. Be a missionary every day. Tell the world that Jesus is the way. When you're in a town or country or a busy avenue, Africa or Asia, the task is up to you. So be a missionary every day. Tell the world that Jesus is the way. The Lord is soon returning. There is no time to lose. So be a missionary. God's on the missionary. Be a missionary today. Let's go. So far, ever since I entered the office, and I'm looking forward to open doors for for the CYIs that they may go out and minister to other people. Not only waiting when the camps are on, CEF camps, no. We need to go and do what we term as service opportunity. It's the new thing that we have introduced in the association, that we need to go back to our villages. We, we, we shall not only help the young children, but we need also to help their families. For instance, constructing uh, bathrooms, toilets, preparing them, uh, and helping the, reaching the children at the grassroots.
because when we see CF, normally the camps, when we analyze that issue, it's normally the rich children who come and attend the camps. So we need to go to the, our local churches, those people at the grassroots. I was among the very first group of the people who, who were trained. And from that time, I started really enjoying the children and doing what I was told to do. After the four years of CYA, I graduated, so I was no longer a teenager. But I thought I needed something more because I really enjoyed CYA. So I came up with an idea that was in 2009 of, uh, of CYA alumni. Those are the teenagers who have finished CYA but still want to continue serving. So in that association, it has actually just started. We, and I say we launched it last year. Oh, not last year, this year, 2011. And we are a number of them. One of the things I was looking at is to, to help teenagers who have finished not to give up ministry. To all intents and purposes, Child Evangelism Fellowship has proved to Uganda and to the whole world that children, in spite of their naivety and innocence, can make a decision for Christ and continue to grow in Him. Parents need to send their teenagers, teenage children, to Christianity in Action. It nurtures teenagers. They will grow up fearing the Lord, knowing Him, doing devotions daily, because that is what they teach them. And above all, they are going to be useful in society, in their churches. Their lives are seriously uh, living, they, they live living testimonies. Um, we are requesting for prayer warriors to pray for CF work, to pray for the workers, because uh, most of our evangelists, they feel they are challenged by many people who don't want people to hear the gospel. So I call upon people to pray for our workers as they go out in the field. Child Evangelism Fellowship is a minister of um, faith and it is for believers, those who are born again. So those who are born again can join CF in many ways. One is to be, become committee members, to be board members, or to come and train them so that they can come and uh, uh, share the gospel with the children. So we need volunteers. Two, you need, we need your prayers. Pray for us that God may use us so that his will may be done. And lastly, we need your financial support because we need money for the staff to go to schools and other activities like a camp. And then we are still building the national office where we can run our trainings and Christian youth in action programs. So please join us in this wonderful ministry of Child and Wine Fellowship. Be a missionary every day. Tell the world that Jesus is the way. The Lord is soon returning.